Hello curveballs and welcome back to my channel. Hi! If you're new here, my name is Lisa and I am the Curvy Cuban. I do primarily colorful eyeshadow looks and I like to do palettes. Now today we have something a little bit special on the menu because Influencer has sent me the all new Bite Beauty Changemaker Foundation Collection. I got the primer, I got the foundation, I got the setting powder, and I got an awesome full-size lippy. So if you'd like to see everything in this brand new Clean Beauty face collection from Bite Beauty, then you need to just keep on watching. But before you do, don't forget to hit subscribe, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos, and give me a huge thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And then, let's get into the video. So the first product that they sent me is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. This one is from Normal to Dry Skin because that is what I selected on my, my first pre-qualifying survey. They have them for oily skin as well. You just have to pick what's best for your skin type. So this one says, The primer that changes everything. Neutralize your skin. Love your foundation results. Normally, I like to mix my primers with my foundation, but today, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on first. This is, to me, it feels like a moisturizer. So this is definitely one that I could mix with my foundation. I'm curious to know what it feels like if you were getting one for the oily skin type. Next up, we have the foundation. I got mine in the shade M75. It is right along my skin tone. This is the Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. The skin-like finish you crave, the clean formula you deserve, medium coverage. So this is medium to buildable coverage. Um, because I am aging, I don't look for a super full coverage because that tends to just make your skin look worse and accentuate your wrinkles because I just want to see how this foundation does. But I take my little dish and I spread it out evenly. And I take my foundation brush and I just pick up all the product, dab it around my face, add some setting spray, and then I blend out. Typically I do my brows before I ever start filming. I'm on an extreme time crunch today, but I really wanted to get this video up and out since this product was sent to me for review. All right, so I'm gonna go in with whatever's left in my little pan here and touch up any areas I feel that could use a little bit more coverage. I mean, first off the bat, I feel like it does look like skin. I don't feel like I look like I have any cakey makeup on whatsoever. If you're a full coverage type person, this is definitely not gonna be your jam because it is very light coverage. I wouldn't even say it's medium coverage, I'd say it's light coverage, but and I'm too scared to try to build it up because I don't want to look cakey. I have this monster zip trying to grow on my forehead. I'm just going to cover that up. Finally, they sent me the Bite Beauty Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder with Power Pure Maquis Berry. And I got mine in the shade medium one. This one says build, set, touch up for flawless skin. Coverage control is in your hands. And I for one love pressed powders, prefer them over loose powders because of my wrinkles and dry skin. So I'm just gonna put my little under eye powder dabber, pick up some product and set under my eyes. And then I'm gonna take my fluffy powder brush and just set the rest of my face. I like that. I feel like you can't get more of a natural skin finish than that. That is really good. Okay, so now it's time to bronze and put some color back into the face. Lately, I have been loving this Tarte Amazonian Clay Shimmer and Shake Blush I got in my Ipsy bag. And I 
and also I have rediscovered my Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Brilliance. I don't know why I stopped using it, but all of a sudden it's my favorite again. So I'm just gonna keep using it until I use it all up. It's very silky and creamy. Such a gentle, natural glow. So I'm gonna quickly finish up my eye makeup and then we'll be back to talk about the skin. I am back because I also forgot to mention the final product that they sent me. Bite Beauty also sent me the Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Onina Oninen. At first it looks like onion, but it's not. It's O-N-I-N-O-N. -N -N. Aninan, Aninan. I don't know, but it's a full-sized lippy. And it is very creamy. Exceptionally, exceptionally creamy. And it smells like fruit. So there you have it. A face full of clean makeup before clean makeup was a thing. That's Bites claim, I guess I should say. I'm about to continue my day and I'll be checking back in to let you know what I think about how the foundation is wearing, how the primer is wearing, how the lippy is wearing. I've got the primer, the foundation, the powder, and the lippy all from Bite Beauty and their entire change maker collection. So special, I've never had an entire brand new collection before. I'll check back in with you guys here shortly. <laughs> Okay, so it's been more than a few hours. I've just inserted a picture of what my foundation looked like four hours in, and this is about, let's see, eight hours in. I've been at work all day. I've had dirty dishwater sprayed all over me. I'm in restaurant management. And although my eye makeup is kind of dying out, I still think that the foundation looks really natural. Obviously it's broken up a lot here and here, but overall I'm very happy with this clean beauty. Again, I only used one light layer of foundation and like I said, it's buildable coverage. So if I had gone over with another layer, I probably would still be looking on point right now, but I can't say that I don't like it. I mean, it to me, did exactly what it was supposed to do. It didn't feel over heavy or cakey or anything like that. So I'm really happy with the results thus far and I can't wait to try it again tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm actually gonna mix my primer in with the foundation and see how that feels. Hey beauties, today's day two of trying out my Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation primer, powder and all that. So this morning I put on very basic. I did the primer, I did the foundation, I did the powder and I just put it on a little bit of blush. I don't even have any highlight on. The only bronzer I have on is my eyes. I don't have any eyeshadow on. So this is like a no makeup makeup day for me. It's just some eyeliner. I don't even have mascara on even. I have done my brows though. So I have a lot of errands to run this morning. Starting off, I am heading into work to get the schedule done for next week. My eye will not stop watering and it is driving me crazy. That is my only issue for the morning thus far. But I feel like the foundation looks fresh. It looks good. I feel like it is a perfect skin match for me. This is what it looks like up close. And we'll check on it in a couple of hours. Okay guys, so we are a few hours in and I am still wearing this foundation. It is still looking fresh and clean and Honestly, I just can't express how when I hear somebody describe clean makeup, what you would think, you have to try it to understand it. I literally feel like I probably got up and didn't put on any makeup today, but I just look better. I guess that's how I describe it. You look better than your natural self and nobody can really tell you're wearing makeup. I'm actually off today, so I don't have to worry about sweating it off or tearing it up. <laughs> I can just live my life in a normal day, running errands, wearing this face of fresh, clean beauty. Okay, several hours later, I had intended to come back and do a wrap up after I got home from all my errands, except I was struck down with a severe migraine and me and my littles decided to take a long awaited nap. So still kind of have the imprint of the couch pillow on my cheek 
And this is how my foundation is looking. My eyeliner's about worn off. I still feel like I look fresh as a daisy. Nice, clean makeup. That's all I can say. This makeup is not cakey. The makeup wears nicely throughout the day. It makes you look like you just have your normal skin on. And that's about as far as I can say for it. If you are over 30 and worried about your little fine lines and wrinkles, then this foundation is for you. If you are dry skinned and you're worried about foundation making look cakey or worse than what you do without any foundation on, then this foundation is for you. I'm going to be using it both mixing the primer or on its own, mixing it with some of my products that give a glow, like I've got the Becca Skin Perfector, which has a nice overall glow that I like to mix in with my foundations. I also have this uh, Glow On Demand Illuminator Serum. It's actually a serum, but it's also like a, a skin glowing agent, and it's called Glow on Demand from NIA, which stands for Not Into Aging. I always like to mix a dab of this in with my foundation. So I found this at TJ Maxx. You might wanna go by your local TJ Maxx and see if they have it. It's really great. If you don't like a whole lot of kiki coverage, it shears out the coverage, but still gives you a nice natural glow to your skin. And I don't know about you, but even though I am gonna be 39 this year, most people think I don't look a day over 30. So take my word for it or don't, but I do like what Bite Beauty has come out with here. Their thing is we had clean beauty before clean beauty was a thing, and now it's a thing, and now it's my thing. So I hope you like this review and this wear test over the past couple of days. Forget about how I look right now since I just woke up, but if you just check out the skin alone, it looks like I'm not wearing any foundation. And I don't think my skin looks particularly bad either. So next up on the Curvy Cuban, I've got a couple of different palette dupes in the mix. I've already filmed me duping Kesha's palette and that should be out sometime next week. Also, Omrezi, I'm gonna be duping that palette as well. So I've actually filmed that one, but I think I wanna refilm it and get a better a better look going. I was thinking about duping three looks one palette, kind of like how I did with the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde before I actually got that palette for Christmas, but that's what you can be looking forward to. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Don't forget to tap the notification bell so you don't miss the fact that I've uploaded a new video and give me a huge thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. With all that being said, until next time, stay curvy and stay captivating, and I'll see you in a week. Bye.